So let's let's get right into it with this matchup. Right? What are you what are you most looking at in terms of like what what would be key for either the Chiefs or the Ravens to to have to happen for them to get to the Super Bowl? Well, honestly, from the Chiefs aspect, you're gonna have to put up points. You're gonna have to put up points on the Ravens defense. Um, you're gonna still be able to run. You're gonna need to be able to run the ball. I feel like I don't know if you could just drive back and just throw the ball all over the yard against the Ravens defense, especially with that pass rush and just with their you know that great defense. So I feel like you're gonna have to find a way to like get some sort of running game with Pacheco just to kind of take pressure off. Mm-hmm. Will that happen? I'm not sure. The Ravens defense has been elite mm-hmm. you know, all all year, all year long. Was had a few hiccups. Other than that, they have been elite. But again, I mean, if there's anybody that can muster up some sort of offense, it would be Patrick Mahomes. So if they can't get any sort of running game, like I said, if anybody could just put the team on the back, it would be Mahomes. But against this Baltimore defense, it is going to be tough. Like, it's going to be the toughest battle yet. So I'm excited to see if they can do that offensively. And defensively, I mean, the Chiefs' defense has been good. I mean, they've given up some, like, big games, on, like, on the ground. But other than that, they've still been solid. So it's going to be interesting to see, you know, what they can do as far as slowing down Lamar Jackson because he's pretty much the entire offense for Baltimore. Um, and for Baltimore's side, it's good. Honestly, for me, it's going to be the defense. Can the defense continue to play this great and kind of, not shut down Mahomes, but slow them down enough to where, you know, their offense can kind of take over and they can actually win this game. So it's going to be excited. It's going to be, you know, strength on strength. So, mm-hmm. man, something's going to have to give. That's all I know. Like, so, something's going to have to give. Great defense, elite quarterback on both sides because both elite quarterbacks, both good defenses. So something's going to have to give. But I, that's why I think this game, either way, I think it's going to be a close one. I don't think either side is going to blow the other team out. Like, I think this game will come down to, you know, late in the fourth quarter, who executes better. So, yep. I'm excited. I'm glad you brought up uh, the the Chiefs run game because I, I have two key matchups on both sides of the ball that I think are, are going to be critical to determining the outcome of the game. And on one side, you have obviously on the Chiefs offense, their running game has been – Honestly, Pacheco had a very good season. It's been very consistent for them, especially in their their first two playoff games. Um, That is going to have to go up against, like you said, this very stout Ravens front seven. Michael Pierce, who's having a great season. Patrick Green, Roquan Smith. uh, These guys are very, very physical Mm -hmm. at the point of attack. They're very physical on run fits. It's not going to be easy, and it's not going to be helped by the fact that Joe Tooney sounds like he's not going to be able to play. Um, one of the best guards in the league uh, there for Kansas City. So his pec injury seems like it's probably going to keep him out of the AFC Championship game. So it's going to be tough for them to try to play some of the smash mouth football that you saw from them, especially during stretches there in that Buffalo game, really like getting downhill with Pacheco um, and letting the run game kind of set them up from there. Um, They hit a lot of big play action shots um, in that Bills game, again, all being set up by the fact they were able to get positive yardage at a good clip there. Um, So that's going to be one of the key things. Can they establish a run game, like you said? And then on the flip side, when Kansas City is on offense, I would imagine that Travis Kelsey is going to see a very healthy dose of Kyle Hamilton. 100%. What is that matchup going to look like? Really, like if you even factor in their linebacker core, you look at Patrick Queen, you look at Roquan Smith, you look at Kyle Hamilton. Between the three of them, they're going to have a lot of – that's six eyes on 87. Mm Mm-hmm. What are they going to do if they can contain that matchup? Because, look, he kind of was sputtering out towards the end of the season. It looked a little wonky. Even in the uh, the first playoff game, he had a couple of drops you don't yeah, see from him. Drop. Mm-hmm. Um, he got it going again in the, the Bills game, two touchdowns. One of them was as wide open as it gets in the NFL, especially in the playoffs. Um, so they look to have their mojo, their momentum back. Um, we know that's like. The Mahomes and Kelsey combo, that's already historic Hall of Fame level. It's one of the hardest to stop um, that we've seen in, of all time, really, at this point. Uh, so the Ravens are going to have their hands full, but Kyle Hamilton is a, one of the best safeties in the NFL already at such a young age. I can't believe he fell that far in the draft to the Ravens. Uh, oh. They got an absolute steal. Uh, so dynamic on – at every level, deep in coverage, coming down into the box. He's physical, um, can can really do anything that you ask of him. So those two matchups, I think, are going to be critical to deciding how this, this game sways, sways one way or the other. 
100 percent and i feel like rasheed rice is gonna have to step up too he's been playing Absolutely. well like he's been good pretty much i mean i say he's been he showed flashes the whole season when he came, became like a full-time player and actually got a lot of the snaps and kind of narrowed down that receiving room and who's going to be on the field he's been playing great i think he played mm-hmm. great in that first playoff game i think he had like 130 yards a touchdown it was going crazy he even had some big catches in his last game too yeah. but like you said if they're keying on travis kelsey which they're going to do because it's travis kelsey you have to he he's going to have to he's going to have to win like he's going to have to win against some of these these corners you're going to have to win his matchup and be kind of another safety blanket for patrick mahomes so mm-hmm. that's another interesting matchup I, I, that is probably going to be in this game to see if he can if they quote unquote neutralize travis kelsey can rasheed rice be enough to step up and you know give them some production because honestly outside of him i know mvs had a couple good catches last week but I'm not relying on that. McCole Hartman needs to be off the field. I'm not even gonna put Tony in. <laughs> I'm not even put Tony in uniform. He's he's not playing. I'd tell you that much right now if that was the coach. But it's really gonna come down to Travis Kelsey. Well, like I said, Pacheco first of all, trying to get the run game, but then Travis Kelsey and then Rasheed Rice, seeing if they can win their matchups. Yeah, it, one thing I will say about Mahomes, and it kind of goes back to what I was was saying earlier with how critical we were about their offense this season. He ain't lose trust in these boys, and, and part of it is he better than me. <laughs> right. How to be like, bro, nah, you're not getting the ball no more. You're done. Uh the slot fade he threw to MVS against uh Buffalo. That was one of the prettiest passes I've seen all year. Yeah, it was beautiful. That was a like dime. I don't like forget hitting him in stride. Like, if you just had MVS stand where the ball was gonna land like this, that jump perfectly fell right in his hands like you could not you almost couldn't have handed it to him better and he threw it like considering where he's at in the pocket having to get it over to the right sideline that's like a 40 plus yard throw Mm -hmm. um but again just the fact that he's still throwing to these guys who consistently throughout the season were letting him down um shows a lot about who he is um understanding that he he can't just rely on kelsey for everything and, yeah. and guys are stepping up. Like I said, MVS had a good game. Rasheed Rice has stepped up, especially towards the back half of the season. Um, that he is going to have to step up in this game um, and make a couple of plays. He's going to have to win. He's going to get one-on-one opportunities. Um, he's going to have to going to have to get a couple of deep shots. Going to have to win on some some intermediate routes um, to be able to keep this offense moving. So I am very very excited for this game. I. <clears throat> I low key don't think it's going to be super high scoring. I don't. I don't want to say it's going to be a low it. scoring game, but I, I mean, I'm feeling like maybe low twenties for both teams. I don't say like 24, um, 21, something right. like that. Something These are like two that. stingy defenses, very stingy yeah. defenses, um, and two defensive coordinators who are very crafty and creative, and are going to just. Throw the kitchen sink at you in terms of different looks, different pressures. It, you know, it's looking like a zero look, but we're dropping eight. Sometimes, we're like, we're, we're coming out and it looks like a quarter shell, and you're getting slot blitzes off. Like, there's going to be a lot of creativity on both defensive side of the ball. So, I, I'm anticipating it to be a dogfight in the best way possible. 